Most exciting of all, we saw clearly in the high resolution images that a whole lot of water ice had been exposed by this impact. You can see in this flyover video of the 3D data, boulder sized chunks of ice in the crater's ejecta, as well as splotches of ice thrown across the landscape outside the crater. This was surprising because this is the warmest spot on Mars, the closest to the equator we've ever seen water ice. What we believe is in the next uh, uh, short amount of time, perhaps somewhere between four and eight weeks as best we can, can predict, we expect the uh, lander to uh, not have enough power to operate any longer and we'll lose contact with the spacecraft. 